this video, I'm going to dig a little bit deeper into the modes. Uh, we're going to use the song Misty. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about the Ionian mode. All right, this is just the E flat major scale. Uh, there's an interesting note in this scale. If you listen to every note with the chord, you see they all sound great. And you say, well, you skipped over a note. You skipped over that A flat. Yes, I did. And the reason I did is because it's called the avoid note. Okay, why is it the avoid note? Well, it's in the scale, but it, it's not a very good place to rest. You know, if you're going to end your melodic line, say you're doing a 2 5 1, that's not the note you want to end on. Any other note would be better. The third, the seventh, the ninth. Just about any other note would be better. Don't do this. And end on E flat major seventh with that. Okay, you can start on it though. And next chord we get to is B flat minor seven. And this is gonna be a two, five, one in A flat. Okay, so. Uh, I think uh, Ionian scale for A flat major uh, seventh, and uh, Dorian and Mixolydian, but it's all A flat major scale. So A flat major scale on B flat minor, on E seventh, E flat seventh, and A flat major. And then A flat minor seventh, I'll use Dorian. So I just think down a step to G flat and play the G flat major scale. I could start anywhere. G flat major scale's got these two white keys here, so that's an easy way to think of it. Okay, and it doesn't go to G flat, it just has that two five there, so that's all I'll do on G flat. And here I went back to E flat, and notice that it was only a half step from where, you know, I was on this scale, G flat uh, major, doing Dorian mode. And then I was doing Mixolydian on D-flat. And then I had a chromatic connection into my next scale. It's very desirable to have a chromatic connection if you're running one scale into another. So listen to this. Ah, ended on the avoid note. Terrible. Okay, not a chromatic connection. That time it was a chromatic connection and a change of direction too, so that made it more interesting. Okay, another chromatic connection. So when you're thinking going from one scale to the next, if you can connect them with a chromatic uh, connection, which is you know just moving a half a step, that's a desirable thing. Okay, and as we finish out the A section, uh, we've just got scale tone chords, so we can just stay in E flat. C minor is the sixth chord, so again, it's E flat major scale. You can think of it as Aeolian, but that's probably not really necessary. F minor, that's Dorian, but again, of course, it's E flat major scale. And then on B flat, I'll use Mixolydian, which is also E flat major scale. When I get to the C seventh here, I'll use something different. Okay, that's called the Lydian dominant, and we'll get into that one soon. Dorian, Mixolydian, and back to our Ionian. So I'll uh, run through the A section one more time. Uh, it's not going to be a great solo, I'm just demonstrating the modes. Another thing about improvising, I think, 
uh, if you're really a beginner at doing this, um, try just playing the chords with your left hand and improvising just what sounds good to you. I really think that most improvisers start this way. They don't know anything about scales, modes, uh, blue scale, or anything like that. You have to spend a certain amount of time just doing it and not really even thinking really about what you're doing, just listening to what you're doing and trying to play a melody that sounds nice. And where do those melodies come from? Every piece of music that you've ever heard in your life is floating around in your brain somewhere. And uh, uh, under the right conditions, it'll come out through your fingers. So uh, uh, just, just give it a try and don't worry too much about the, uh, uh, you know, all the theory behind it. The theory can help you improve what you're doing, but it's not, uh, just knowing the theory alone is not gonna really uh, get you to where you are able to improvise. To, to improvise, it's kind of like riding a bike. You've just got to get up on there and you'll fall off a few times, but uh, you just got to give it your best shot.